One done. Ooh, my I look rough. Oh my. Listen, that video's coming soon, by the way, y'all. Uh, give myself my own haircut. But anyway, that's not what we came here to talk about. H hold on, the intro. Wagwan! Welcome back to our next one. God damn it. Wanda, oh, I got damn it, your girl, your mother, your sister, your auntie. I don't know, but you shall. You shall know. Before I get into the details about what the title says in regards to my earnings, I just want to get clear first, right? Because I'm kind of pissed off. And the reason why I'm kind of pissed off is because before this whole coronavirus became a thing, became a pandemic, right? It was people that have their regular jobs working for, you know, boss. They have to report back to a boss. People like myself. If anything goes wrong, report to myself or the contractor. Then you got those people now that, you know, that work for bosses now. They tend to talk down on food delivery service like Uber Eats. And I say that to say there's a lot of people before this whole thing happened, you know, there was ha having their regular jobs. They said like, oh, Uber Eats is not an actual job. It's not a real thing. Um, It's not going to last forever. You know, get a real job, which you do not make any sense. But the last time I check, we making or I'm making ya two weeks check in like three days or a week five days matter of fact i'm making you two weeks checks in three to five days how does that make you feel as an individual working for someone else that you gotta call a boss how you feel kind of bad right so with that being said please do not talk about delivery service that's like oh it's not it's not paying good don't don't do that because majority of you guys now which i know for a fact like i done seen it in my eyes firsthand oh yeah oh my gosh oh, 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 i'm broke i need, I need money oh yeah going back to uber doordash instacart relay caviar like you guys going back to all these different sources that yeah talk bad on yeah talk down about like come on you gotta get it right but other than that though let me you know let me, this video not going to be too long, probably like 10 minutes or so. I don't want to make it too, too long because I don't want to, I want to give you guys the information and dip in and I'm out. So, uh, since coronavirus has been wrecking the place, a lot of restaurants and stuff been closed. A lot of people are, are um, unemployed, you know what I mean? But yeah, the government giving them like, uh, unemployment money, which is like, I think like six bills a week, plus like a stimulus check. And all the good stuff. So in a way, those people are still surviving. They're still um they're still staying afloat. Which is which is good. Shout out to those people. Alright. People like me now, who are uh, who does, you know, self employment work, which is Uber Eats, as you guys already know. My job never never ends because I'm considered an essential worker. Right, I know most of you guys probably think that essential workers are only um, people who are in the medical field, you know, but nah, because delivering food, remember, people got to eat, so I have to, you know, provide that service. And with that being said, for the past, <laughs> what, two weeks now, because I was sick, which you guys already know at this point, I was sick. So for the past two weeks, Uber had been going crazy, like, when I say crazy... It's going bananas. I'm talking about... Matter of fact, before I even get into my personal um, numbers, let me just tell you what my uh, my peers around me. Like, all my peers, they're not coming home with nothing less than $1,000 every week. And that's not even 40 hours they pushing with that $1,000 for the week. You know? $1,200. $1,400. $1,500. When my boy even made $1,800 um, last week. But the only thing is he didn't work five days. He worked six days. Which, you know, if... Which is understandable. It's the extra day you work in, bro. Extra eight hours, seven and a half hours. So of course, you're going to make that kind of money. I don't work... Uh, I don't work every day. I work five days. Um, probably six days. I used to work seven days sometimes, but stopped doing that stuff. Five days, six days, sometimes four. 
it all depends how I'm feeling, how the money is. Because some days you can make um, $800 in three days, which I did last week. I'm going to show you guys just now. And also, I did that this week. So, yeah. So, now let's get into the numbers. Um, but please keep in mind that, right? If, if you're not willing to work and put in the hours, you're not going to make the money. All right? Not saying that I'm killing myself because I'm really not killing myself. As you guys can see, I'm in the car sitting down. This is all I do all day, sit in the car. All right? If you really want to make the money, right, you have to ensure that you you spend quality time on the app to make the money. You know? You're not going to come on the app and work three hours and say, oh, I worked three hours. I'm going to make 250 in that three hours. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to actually put in the effort, put in the time, and... You will be great. You know what I mean? So let me open up my um my numbers here. I can show you my freaking battery's about to die. And I'm not going back in the house to get the battery. So let's finish this video off. Quick and easy. Um where is Uber? Alright, let me start the screen record so I can see the see the facts. So I can see the facts. Hold on. And the crazy thing is too, is like the whole map is busy. Brooklyn busy, Queens. You no, know, like every part of Brooklyn is going crazy. And that's where I work at in Brooklyn. Because where I live, it, 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 it's it's okay. But, you know, it's not fast enough for me how Brooklyn is. You know what I mean? So, I like that fast pace, that fast, that fast going. Alright, so I know y'all want to see numbers. So, let's get into that. Because without numbers... I cannot prove my credibility, you know and I'm saying I am, and I am a a credible guy. If that makes sense. <laughs> One. All right. So as you guys can see here, I made fourteen hundred dollars, and that was in what five days of working. And I know some of you guys might be like, "Hold on, if you work fourteen, if you made fourteen hundred dollars in forty six hours and thirty six minutes, right? That's good. That's not so good. That's what some of y'all might say." But the thing is, right, you got to understand that when you go to pick up these foods, it's not always ready, right? I got an order from this one restaurant, and I waited an hour for the for the food for the simple fact that it was really busy. They was paying like $5 extra for, um, for, for the orders. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just tough it out and wait. As you guys already know, normally, I do not wait for any order, bro. Once I, once I, uh, once I go there... And I give it like five, ten minutes, probably, probably like fifteen the most, right? I give it that's not ready. Boom, call the company, say, hey, listen, the order cannot be ready because of because of so so, and they're missing um they're missing um supplies, whatever. Okay, no problem, buddy. They give me like sometimes like three to five dollars just to go to the restaurant. I don't normally wait, but I wait because they got the bonus, right? So um so Monday. Right, I made two hundred and uh seven dollars Monday, but I don't know why it says two eighty there, but whatever. So for Monday now, I I did eight hours and thirty three minutes. In reality, that wasn't eight hours and thirty three minutes. That was like um seven hours when you you know when you put in the excessive wait time. So that's like seven. Yeah, yeah, just about. Okay, thought over. So Monday, you guys can see here, I um. I did 8 hours and 32 minutes, I made $207, but in reality, that's not what I really made, I really made, I, I really did like 7, probably like seven and a half, seven and a half hours for the simple fact that there was like a, you know, a really long wait time and so forth, and yeah, and then Tuesday now, I made 237, and I work 10 hours, once again, that is not really 10 hours, that 10 hours right there is about 8 hours, when you guys put in, into consideration the uh, wait time. And for my Uber drivers, you guys know what I'm talking about. For my non-Uber drivers, you guys are like, whoa, 10 hours worth is a lot of hours. But if you do Uber Eats, any kind of delivery service, you know what I'm talking about. That's not a lot of hours. And then, um, what else? Go back. And then Wednesday now, I made 2.27 on Wednesday. And 9 hours and 42 minutes. Once again, the 9 hours is probably like 7 hours and 30 minutes. Which is hella good in my opinion. You know what I mean? What job, which minimum wage job paying you? 
Ah, uh, if you work seven hours, you're getting 227. That's not happening, buddy. And then I took a day off Thursday for the simple fact that I had to do some schoolwork online. You know, starting school full time as well. Got to get the schoolwork done, huh? And then Friday now, Friday, you guys can see I didn't really max out Friday. Friday, I only work uh, about six and a half hours on Friday. I made 211, 20 chips, just like that. Boom, knock it out. And then Saturday now, Saturday, I maxed out Saturday, as you can see. I maxed out that whole day Saturday. Saturday, I made two, 274, maxed out. So that 274, 10 hours right here. That's like eight hours and 45 minutes in reality, in real time, right? And then that equals up to my uh, $1,400 for the week. And Sunday, normally I don't really work on Sundays like that. Sunday's like the day I can stay home to finish up my schoolwork that I didn't finish, you know, like in the week, like uh, like a Thursday, which I started my schoolwork I didn't get to finish. I finished that off on Sunday. And that equals up to 46 hours for the week. But once again, that is not 46 hours entirely. You know what I mean? When you chop out those hour and a half wait there, hour wait there, you know, it's probably like what? Probably about, it's probably like a good 40, it's like 40, it's like 40, 41 hours right here, really. All right, it's like 41 hours. And you go see my chip earnings here is 916, my chips 241. And the quest promotion. The promotion is also is a is a is a big 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 boost. The promotion gives you like a solid chunk of your money. You know what I mean. So if the promotion is good, you're gonna make great money. If the promotion is not so good, you still can make money. As you can see here, I made what nine sixteen. I made eight hundred dollars in three days. Go back to my. You'll see it one day. It says 280 here, so I'm guessing that's 280. I don't know, or 207, whatever. That's two. That's four. That's six. And then the other, you know, numbers on the side add up to 800. It's crazy, huh? And I bet you some of y'all making $800 every two weeks. Or y'all making, you know, every, every, every week, which is seven days. I make, can I complain? This week that's coming up is also uh, a very, very good week so far. I'm not going to show you guys my earnings for this week as yet. Because that's going to be in a separate video. But other than that, uh, thanks for tuning in once again. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, my name is CJ. Do not forget to subscribe down below. Only if you want to. Only if you like my content. If you don't like my content, goodbye. And if you rock with it, baby. Welcome to the party. <laughs> but uh, I'm out of here, man. Take it easy.